Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at how the Rhino Rack 1300 Dome Awning fits on the 2017 Toyota RAV4. So there's a bunch of awning options out there. Awnings are a quick and easy way to create space for yourself around your vehicle. Maybe you're at a game, you're tailgating, you want some shade. Maybe you're at the beach and you just want to hang out. Or you're at the campsite and you need your staging ground. Well, setting up an awning on your vehicle is a great way to do that. I personally prefer my awnings off to the side, but here off the rear crossbar, it's basically providing coverage over our hatch. For some people, they want to know if they can open up their hatch with this awning on. So with this being a dome, you can see how it is higher up, up on the roof. This gives you all that space, the hatch goes up, and it's not even making contact with the awning. So I tried this awning out on my Prius V, and because of where the crossbars are, I wasn't that big of a fan of it because it basically covered my car and not so much the area around it. But on the RAV4, it is a pretty good fit. It does cover back part of the vehicle, but you also have this space, and even if you're like a taller person, you don't feel claustrophobic because of that dome top. So general look at the dome awning is it's pretty much the width of your RAV4. You can adjust the height to however you want it to be, whether you want it lower or higher, lower for privacy, higher for more shade and more fun. Now, the main thing about this is how we get this installed on the car to get this configuration. Let's take a look at that. This is what it looks like folded up on the roof. Now, it is a good size for the width of the RAV4. The downside is you can't really have any other accessories if you have it mounted this way. The perks are for the RAV4 with raised rails, you can move the raised rail bars as far back as you want them to, which then gives you more coverage off the back of your car. So we're gonna get things set up and you start by unzipping the awning. If you're like me and you store like your guy lines or stakes inside the awning, be mindful of that before you unzip it over your roof. Make sure those are already out there and continue unzipping. And then we're gonna set this up. So we have these hook and loop straps holding the awning in on each side. This is gonna be a lot easier with two people helping you out. That way you don't have to go back and forth, but it's definitely doable all by yourself. It just takes a little reaching. So everyone has their own method to getting their tent set up, things like that. With this being an awning and with how windy it is, I highly recommend setting up the tent poles while it's in the down position so that you're not having to deal with this possibly hitting your car. It's all in a safe spot right now. I know a lot of people are concerned that the pole is too long or the awning is too short. You're just gonna have to put a little bit of force into it. Don't worry. These are fiber glass poles so they can handle it. Stored inside your awning are gonna be the long poles to hold everything up. Don't forget to take the hook and loop out and do it carefully. Pull out the rods inside the end of the awning. You're then gonna use this to help get that strap up and over. And then you're also going to have this that goes through. Now extend the poles to the desired height. Make sure it's even on both sides. Then twist the poles themselves to tighten it secured. And here is when you would either stake it to the ground if you have it on soft ground. If you have it on parking lot pavement like what we have here, um, go get some sandbags or buckets with sand, something heavy to secure the pole so they don't fly up when wind comes by. And that was a quick look at how the Rhino Rack 1300 Dome awning fits on the 2017 Toyota RAV4.